As you told us before, a lot of the families have, been, have not given up hope that their loved ones are still alive. I know you've spoken to some of them since the news of, of the possible debris came in. What's their outlook now? What are you hearing? Well, over the last week, uh, it feels like we're waiting for the uh, eruption of a volcano. And yesterday would be best described as a partial eruption. There are some family members, upon hearing the news, has uh, appeared to have accepted finality that their loved ones are not coming back. So there was a strong uh, uh, burst of uh, emotion coming out and some really very, very strong. And uh, in some cases, ambulance need, needed to be called in. And uh, the rest of the families uh, seem to be holding on for the next 24 to 48 hours to try to get the final official clarification. And there are still some family members that are just still uh, steadfastly holding on to hope and hoping that this is not it and eventually we will find them on land. And, and I've heard you say that, that some of the strongest reactions actually came from men. Exactly, because uh, in the beginning, in the family, the women tend to, to have the most uh, stronger em emotion. And the, uh, the men felt like that they had to be the strong one to hold the, uh, everybody together, to support the women. And uh, in fact, what, uh, what results from that is that their emotion did not have a chance to come out. And uh, when they finally faced with possibly accepting finality, that's when they had all the pinned up emotion over the last 12, 13 days just poured out. And uh, so yesterday, of the families that reacted strongly, the men are, uh, reacted far more strongly than the women. And the women, I think, over the last uh, uh, 12 days, uh, every day they were pouring out their emotions. And the men were just holding it for that one last uh, for, for the one initial burst together. You know, sometimes on TV you hear people use that word closure and I just think it's the worst word because I don't think anybody who's experienced loss, uh, I think everybody who's experienced loss knows that there is, there is no such thing as closure. Um, what do you say to families in, in this situation? I mean, is it just a question of listening and not even saying much? What, how do you deal with this? Well, what we have decided to do is this, is uh, with most of these families, we have identified members in their uh, very small circle of trust who are uh, perhaps uh, more able uh, and we train them to be able to deal with the situation better. So that uh, for the in initial uh, burst of emotion, we try to let the, ha the family handle it with the people that we have trained and uh, we would not come in unless they call on us until that first wave, uh, they, carry, they ride the first wave. Well, and, and the other thing I need to point out is you're absolutely right, there really is no closure.